everyone, I'm Amy with Booktubing Amy and today I'm doing the Inside Out book tag. So this was developed, either developed or Jesse by Jesse the Reader or Jesse the Reader did it and I found him off that. But I thought this would be a really fun way to do the Inside Out movie which I'll put right picture right here. If you do not know what movie I'm talking about but it's I think five questions of you know what you read when you feel or stuff like that. So I thought this would be a really fun tag to do. So the first question is a book that makes you happy and the book that makes me happy is actually The Deal by Ella Kennedy. Make sure I said that name right. And it is a fantastic book. I read it and I just laughed the whole way through. It was freaking fantastic. I loved it so much. Uh, it's about a hockey. It's a new adult romance hockey. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic. If you haven't picked it up, you definitely should pick it up. The first one, uh, give the first one a shot. It's the best. It's, I think it was my favorite of last year, if I'm not mistaken. So you definitely should check it out. I give it five stars because it made me ridiculously happy whenever I read that. And the next one is a book that disgusts you the most. And it's not so much this book. I know a lot of people are a fan of this book. It's, it's not so much, it's really hard to describe. So this one, the character's background disgusts me. Uh, this book deals with a lot of rape and whenever I read, I cringe when I read that. I don't like to read about that, but his life is full of it. Um, so I, I couldn't, I really couldn't read this. I had, because I really wanted to know what his story was, so I had to read it on audiobook. Um, but his background, his current life, I loved the current part of his life, but his, like, about that much, this part right here, actually this part right here, is about of his past life and this part disgusts me of the things he had to go through. Um, it was just so sad and it just, it just, it's like, uh, disgust me beyond measure. Whenever I got to the new part, that was fun and I enjoyed that, but the, the, the back story, it just, it disgusted me. I, I did not like to read about that. Um, I just didn't. The next question is the book that makes you the most scared. And honestly, I haven't even really, really finished this, or I've started it, but I haven't really finished it. It's The Beast by J.R. Ward. And I am terrified. Not because of something that has happened, because of it. I just, I'm terrified of what will happen to Rage. I truly am. Um, as y'all know, I love uh, Rage. By all means, I love him so much. But I'm really afraid of something's gonna happen to him, so I am deathly afraid because I don't know if I wanna read it if something bad happens to him. Also, if you have read this book, please don't spoil it. I really, I want to read this book fresh. The next question is the book that made you the most sad. And actually, it's not this one, but I don't have the second book in this series. It's the Never Let you Go by Katie Regenery. I have trouble with her last name. I hope I've said that right. But it's the second book in this series. I'll put a picture right here. Anyway, so I read about halfway through and the whole time I'm just depressed and sad. So I was like, this, I, I stopped reading it because I was so sad of what the kids had to go to. It's the Hansel and Gretel retelling. I do eventually, I do eventually want to, uh, to read it again, but right when I was reading it, I was going through tonsillitis and I felt terrible and I couldn't talk so I was just like I this is I can't read this right now I need something to uplift me to get me through the day so but this book made me the most sad I've been in a long time all right so the final question is the book that made you the most angry and if you watched my last video you'll know exactly what book it is uh, spoiler for J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood spoiler alert uh, I'll put a little icon right here to let you know when the, the spoiler is finished, but this one is, I'm actually going to talk about it, is The Shadow by J.R. Ward. Um, whenever that character, I'm going to try to be a little not spoilery, whenever that character died, if you read the book you know exactly who I'm talking about, I was so mad for like the next five days. I could not pick up another book because I was so mad. I called my mom, who's not a big reader, at like eight in the morning and I was just like, you're my mom, listen to what I have to say. And she's just like, thought I was weird, I guess. But it was just one of those, like, I have to get this out. 
I have to tell somebody and nobody else is at work, so you get to listen. Uh, because I couldn't tell the people at work, so it was just, uh, just, mm, that book, oh god, I was so mad. I thought for sure they would come back to life because it's a romance novel. Everyone ends happy together. Not in J.R. Ward's novels. That's why I'm, I'm so terrified for this next book, uh, a J.R. Ward, The Beast, because I don't want anything to happen to Ray and Mary because I just can't. I just, I just can't. So these are all the questions of the Inside Out book tag. Have you read any of these books? Uh, what are your thoughts on these books? What are your what book do you read when you're happy? Let me know, because I always like I always like reading happy books. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, I will see you next week on another book yet booktubing Amy video. And as always, go find your inner reader. See ya!